Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tavius. Today we're going to be talking about burnouts and why it's actually not as bad as you guys may seem to think and how bad people might tell you that it is. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it, baby. Shout out to High Speed Wara for this footage. So burnout is this here. Whenever you go into this state where you exhausted all your drive meter, now you can't use your drive system. You're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do this. Drive reversal. And you're not allowed to drive rush. This is actually a chip out situation. If you don't know what chip out is, even though you are blocking a move the move can still kill you so it could be anything from supers or special moves this chip out state only happens when you're in burnout in this game the only place that burnout is actually bad in is the corner i'll show you why in this clip here once you block you're stuck in this because it's a true combo and because you blocked it in the corner, you die, even though you were blocking. And then he has another situation where you're stuck, you literally can't move, and you have to hold this, and you got chipped out. When you do this to someone while they're in burnout, it puts them in the stun. So the only way to avoid that is hoping you get a neutral jump or trying to super back. This beats drive impact, so that's something that you can do. But let me tell you this. When we're here, if you burn yourself, it's not bad at all. Like, there's no consequence. If you have a good, solid ground game, and if someone jumps, you stop them from jumping, you anti-air them, they jump, they try to dash at you, you catch them here. Even though you can't use any of these mechanics, you're good. Realistically, what's going to happen here to you where you're going to die? As long as you're not at a sliver of health where any hit on your block will kill you, you're still able to use your special moves if you have a fireball that you can throw out. If they try to get too close and they press something you can catch them like this if they do drive impact in neutral if you're ready for it you can react with a super if you have the meter you can space yourself out away from the super if they throw a fireball you can neutral jump it or jump over it there's just no consequence for being in this space when you're burned out i can't think of a single thing the only thing that's bad is if your opponent manages to get in that's just up to you to make sure that your game in this area in this range is solid to the point where they can't get in another reason why it's not bad say you're burned out right you're burned out for a certain amount of duration before the bar fills back up and you get the green back that's up here say your opponent just spent all those bars they're down three while it's regening and then your drive meter completes and now you're back to this full gauge of green but you're still here even if they were to do this they just spent three to do that they're gonna spend some to do this they have to do something that's very committal that they could take damage for if they try to do this you could check them if they jump you can anti-air them whether it be a button a dp or a jump back button burning yourself out is going to be really good especially early game and what's even crazier even better situation is when your opponent is here you're here but you're in burnout but you're playing from a range where they can't jump out and they can't dash you literally have control of the match even if you're in burnout you could literally just be sitting there jabbing and, and buffering the super input behind the jabs right and for context if you guys don't know what a buffer is it's basically just when you do the input for a special or a super which can be a quarter circle a double quarter circle a dp motion you don't actually press the following button to get that move to come out afterwards that's a small example buffering Buffering, buffering, jab, jab, and if they drive impact, you drive, <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> jab, don't buffer, and then fake them. Once they get used to you buffering or something, if you did it before, then you can answer them with DP. Overall, burnout's not bad to be in. Moral of the video is don't be scared to be in burnout. Experiment with different scenarios that you can put yourself in in burnout, but don't mindlessly spend your meter thinking that you're gonna be straight because if you're not ready and someone jumps in on you and you're at this range and then they put you in a block string and now you just got shipped out or now you're in a situation you can't get out of that's gonna be it for the video hope you guys did enjoy it hope you guys did learn something make sure to like comment subscribe click the bell so you see me post and we got more videos like this coming in the future it's been tavius and i'll see you guys in the next video you guys peace have a good day or night you guys we out